Hey, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to tell you what I think the most important thing is when you're TIG welding. Now other people are going to have different opinions, but in my opinion, it's your arc length. Now how can you really say that one thing is most important, right? There's so much to think about. You have your material preparation and cleanliness, setup of your torch, machine settings, what filler metal to use. If any one of them is off by too much, it's going to cause problems. But for me, learning to TIG weld, when I got my arc length under control and really improved that skill, that's when I turned the corner to start feeling much better about my welds. I'm gonna show you exactly why. So first of all, just so we're all speaking the same language, arc length, I'm talking about the distance from the end of your electrode to your workpiece. And this needs to be really short when you're TIG welding, which is a challenge because you don't want to accidentally bump your tungsten electrode into the weld puddle. But on the other hand, if your arc length is too long, what happens is the arc is like a cone and it spreads out as you lift it up. And when that happens, the heat isn't concentrated and focused right there in that small point, it's spread out a little bit more. And so when I'm welding with too long of an arc, it's hard to form a puddle. Once I do, the puddle's hard to control. It usually doesn't get down into the very bottom corner or the root of the joint. And any problems I'm having with my torch angle are just gonna be exaggerated. And on top of that, it makes it more difficult to get your filler metal down into your weld puddle without having it melt first and get contaminated, causing all sorts of problems. Now let's take a look at a weld run with better arc length, right? Keeping this nice and short, you can see I have a small puddle. It's easy to control as I move my way along here. It's getting right down into the root of the joint. I'm able to add that filler metal right into the leading edge of that puddle and it's coming along nicely. So if we look at the difference between these two welds, right, the one made with the long arc length, the one made with the short, the difference is night and day. Now being able to keep a nice short arc length without dipping your tungsten electrode isn't something that's gonna come immediately, but it is something to work up to. And I think you'll find as you do that, that your welding improves dramatically. Now if there's something else you've found is most important for you on your TIG welding, let us all know down in the comments below. And if you learned something here or like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. We'll see you next time.